rulers of the sea. Singapore is no different. Our story is rooted in the sea, in a voyage taken many years ago by a brave and noble prince. Prince Sang Nila Utama was a young lord of the mighty Sri Vijaya Empire and the grandson of Rajasura, whom many called Alexander the Great. The prince carried many legacies from his grandfather, bravery, ambition, and a bejeweled crown said to have come from the treasures of King Solomon. One day, while the prince was on a hunting expedition with his men, fate stepped in. The prince chased the wild stag up the hill. But when he reached the top, he suddenly caught sight of a beautiful island across the sea. He knew at once that he must go there. After preparations were made and provisions gathered, the prince addressed his men from the deck of his vessel. Today, we depart on a voyage of discovery, a voyage to create a new city that will endure the ages. As they journeyed toward the island, the sky began to darken. Soon they were engulfed in the most vicious storm they had ever seen. Dark forces seemed to conspire against them. The prince's men were terrified, certain that they were doomed. The prince, however, knew what he must do. He removed the beautiful crown from his head and threw it into the waves as a gift to the sea king. Immediately, the waters calmed, and the prince and his men were allowed to continue on to the island of his fascination. As the prince surveyed his new surroundings, he was confronted by an incredible beast. At first, the prince did not know what to expect. But when he looked into the lion's eyes, a moment of understanding and respect passed between them. And then, the lion was gone. The prince again addressed his men. In this place, I will build a city, the center of a great nation, and I will call it the Lion City, to honor the spirit of the beast who guards these shores. Henceforth, this land shall be known as Singapura. And that is how Singapore came to be. For centuries, Singapore has borne the name of the Lion. And for even longer, Singapore has prospered from the many blessings of the deep. In the middle of our last century, it was decided that Singapore needed a new symbol. It would have the head of a lion, representing Prince Sangmila Utama and the noble creature he encountered there. And it would have the body of a fish, a symbol of Tomasek, the great seaport which bore the ancient kingdom of Singapore, and an undying tribute to our connection with the sea. Thus was born the Malayan, a new myth and a symbol of welcome to all. Riding the waves of the sea, it stands ever watchful, guarding Singapore's well-being and prosperity. It is said that the Malayan brings good fortune to those who seek it. What will it bring for you? Uncover the mystery and see if you too have been blessed with the luck of the Malaya.